everybody, if you ever wondered what is yet another perk of living in Central Florida, well, stay tuned because we've got a show talking to you about how close we are to the incredible cruise ships right here in Port Canaveral. Hey everybody, my name is Kim Hawk and I'm known as YouTube's Fairy Godmother of Real Estate. And so we concentrate on that 25 mile radius around Cinderella Castle. But one of the things that we really wanna talk about today is talking about what the perk is with living in Central Florida. Because if you live in Central Florida and you don't have to deal with, I've gotta catch a plane, in order to get to a port so that I can catch a cruise line, because so many people know, especially with the headaches of airfare recently, that sometimes your flights get canceled. And so what better than to be able to jump in your car in Central Florida and possibly be over to Port Canaveral in 30, 45 minutes, an hour, park that car, and then to be able to enjoy a cruise. So that's what we've done, you guys. I'm super excited to give you some tips and tricks because my husband, Rod Hawk, and I just recently went on the Utopia of the Seas. Actually, this is Rod's certificate. It was the inaugural sailing of their second largest cruise ship. It's actually the second largest cruise ship in the entire world, you guys. It's called Utopia of the Seas, and it is the largest cruise ship that's going out of Port Canaveral right now. What are some of my observations? Well, let's look at this gorgeous boat. It is incredible. And so my mindset is a little different now. Many times I would say, gosh, where's the boat going to? Where is it going to dock into? What, you know, what areas are we gonna be able to explore? This time I wanted to have a different mindset because it was a four night cruise because the boat itself is the destination. Now, yes, you can get off the boat in Nassau and you can go gamble at different hotels and have a great time, I suppose, but I just wanted to float on a boat. Have you ever had that time of your life where you just like, just need to turn off all the noise and then hope to work with a really good travel agent, which we did. I just wanted to give a plug to Creating Magic Vacations, Creating Magic Vacations, Carrie and Rob Stewart, they pulled it out for us because we only gave them three days notice that we were hoping to get on a cruise ship and I wanted to have an ocean view balcony. Is there nothing better than to be able to sit on a boat, float and just stare at the water, the beautiful ocean? Well, that's what we did, you guys. And they do have incredible rooms with the ocean view. They also have other rooms where they have views of Central Park. They have all kinds of other different views from your balconies but for me i'm all about wanting to float on a boat look at the water feel god's presence and that's exactly what we experienced but let's talk about all the other stuff that's going on in the utopia of the seas well you can go ice skating on this boat you have lots of incredible shows I want to say all total because there's 18 decks on this boat. Look at the view of this incredible boat. Look at all the fabulous water slides. You can go rock climbing on this boat. And so, yes, you're going to have multiple, multiple restaurants, dining, bars, and lounges. The other amenities that are so fabulous too. You have a, a, a carousel for the kids to ride. Outdoor movie screens. The pools were absolutely fabulous. The trivia, of course, the bingo nights, the solarium and the sports courts, the um, spa. I can't speak highly enough about the spa. The Vitality Spa was in this chapter of my life. I really wanted to relax and to get away. And of course, you know, a great massage is always a big perk. But they also had some acupuncture there. They had a specialist there and I really needed to um, have access to some real experts and i came off of that boat so refreshed and it was really really something that was super helpful of course you know the internet is wonderful i remember years and years ago everybody would say oh i can't go on a cruise ship because nobody can reach me that's not happening here right this is a city on the ocean and everything being that it was such it's a new boat 
it's their newest Royal Caribbean boat. It was just perfection with regard to how clean and wonderful it is. Let's talk about some of the other options. The restaurants, here's a tip. When you first go on the boat and you wanna make sure you get the Royal Caribbean app before you cruise so that you can start looking to possibly book some things in advance if you like. Let's go ahead and look when they're doing discounts if possible for the internet access. You know, watch and then if you get something with 15% discount, but a couple days later you see 20% off, maybe it's not a bad idea to cancel the old reservation for the internet and get the new one, save another 5%, right? So it's kind of a fun game to do and you might enjoy doing something like that. But you also wanna possibly look at booking some excursions if you like to um, go to Perfect Day at Coco Cay. They have their own private island. And uh, my daughter and uh, her father, Rod, ended up loving the Coco Cay. There was a floating bar that was out there that people were having a lot of fun with. But I can just share with you, these four night stays, you can do a three night or a four night stay if you like. This was the inaugural four. I found it to be such a wonderful reprieve because now if you're able to drive from central florida maybe pay 17 dollars a day to park have your car there just refresh for four days and come back and not have to be concerned about am i going to miss a plane or anything like that come live in central florida with us we would love to show you real estate i have a real estate team that does a show on wednesday nights on the near disney YouTube channel that talks about all things 25 mile radius around Cinderella Castle. So that's a little bit of a nutshell what's going on. I do think the whole mindset is different now about not necessarily having to go on a cruise ship that's going to certain ports. Now you're able to find an incredible brand new cruise ship, huge cruise ship that is a city on its own and that itself is its destination. When you get on the boat, one of the things you might wanna do is go to the wind jammer. I don't know if it's gonna happen with every cruise, but when we were able to go on our app, try to get on the boat as early as you can, register early, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, go to the wind jammer. They had lobster tails and shrimp and all kinds of stuff so that you could enjoy. That was pretty spectacular start off. I don't know how long they'll be doing that, but for now, I understand that's one of their standards. All right. Well, if you have any questions, my number is 407-808-9845, 407-808-9845. And please, please treat yourself at some point and especially come live with us in Central Florida. We would love for our team to be able to introduce you to one of the most magical places in the whole world to live. Thanks again. Give me a call 407-808-9845 if I can help you with anything. And thanks again to Utopia of the Seas, the Royal Caribbean line. You get an A plus from me. Bye-bye. Make sure that you subscribe and like so that we can continue to give you up-to-date information on all things that are going around the 25 mile radius of Cinderella's castle, because this is truly a magical place to live.